Hi, my name is Derek from Valley Trojan Museum's Teen Leadership Council, and today we will be doing an experiment in partnership with Clark's at Home Science Education. Project, we will be building a simple catapult machine. For this project, you're going to need about 10 popsicle sticks, a few rubber bands, a plastic spoon, a pom pom ball, or a couple of pieces of paper. So I'll be using a piece of paper. And if you want to decorate your machine, you can use paint, markers, or crayons, but I will not be demonstrating this. You may need an adult's help to assemble the machine, and please do not launch anything heavy or dangerous. To start, if you're going to paint, color, or decorate any of the popsicle sticks, please do so before moving on. But I will not, and to start, first I'm going to count out 7 popsicle sticks. You can also use 5 if you like, but okay. So once you have 7, you're going to want to layer them up like so. This will be the base of our catapult and what point we will be launching from. So once you have seven, hold them tightly and use a rubber band to secure one side, like so. It should be tight enough so that they don't fall apart, but not too tight so that you can't hold them apart slightly. Next, you're going to want to take another popsicle stick, spread apart one popsicle stick from the rest, and then you're just going to layer it between perpendicular, 90 degree angles, okay? Next, we're going to take another rubber band and we're going to secure the other side, just like so. If you need an adult's help, please ask your parents. Alright, so now we should be left with a structure that kind of looks like an airplane with really, really fat wings, okay? So next, you're going to want to grab your last popsicle stick, layer it on top of the entire machine, like so here and then you're gonna push together the ends on one side together it should be the side where the wings are closest to so since this side since my wings are closer to this side I'm going to create a point here instead of here all right then you can take a rubber band and create an attachment point right here Lastly, we're going to take our spoon and then we're going to put it right on top of this popsicle stick we just added. So take another rubber band and start twisting until it's tight. Just like this. Around. You might want to just adjust it until everything is nice and straight. And we should have something that looks like this. Okay. Alright. Lastly, you can grab your pom-pom ball or marshmallow or anything you really want, except for heavy items, because that's dangerous. Now you can start to test. See? So, why does the ball fly the way it does? Well, if you place the ball onto the spoon and do nothing, nothing will happen. A force is required to create a demonstration of Newton's law of motion. This is my finger pulling back the catapult. When pulling back on the spoon and letting go, the ball's inertia is overcome and it goes into the air. The force of the spoon onto the ball creates an acceleration upward 
away from gravity and the ball goes into the air. Eventually, gravity and air friction will take hold of the ball and pull it back to the ground at the end of its flight. This creates the curved motion that we see. Gra uh, if there was no gravity or air friction pulling it back, the ball would fly forever. Finally, when the ball lands on the ground and rolls, it eventually stops due to the friction of the floor on the ball. Post pictures of your completed experiment on social media using the handles hashtag Clorox Syed, hashtag VCM Teen Council, and hashtag VCM Steam. Thank you for joining us for today's at-home demo. Goodbye.